Welcome back, awesome Ashen Toy fans and subscribers. Uh, the last of this round of my uh, Acid Rain World reviews until the next slot I order come in. Uh, this is the exclusive Rust Stronghold. So now we've had three different strongholds released in the 118 scale, Sand Marine and Rust. I don't think I'm missing one. And there is another one, but it wasn't a release. It's an exclusive. Only three were made, and I happen to have one, so I won it in the competition. Let me rephrase that. My wife won it in the competition, so I got it from her. Okay, so, um, and I've reviewed that, but the review is not great because the lighting was very dark. So I'll make, I'll make that review again in the future. Um, okay, let's open up, have a look. I've opened the box, but not taken out what's inside. So we have the Stronghold book. Okay, this I remember from the first ones. Is this new or different? Okay, same. So it tells you about the Stronghold and about the Beaver. We've seen this in B25. So it's the videos, that's really cool in B25 skill. More about the stronghold again. Then armor switching with the transformation. And then pictures, now to do that. Now this, the original, which I believe this is the same. I think it's just using the Ori toy design parts or whatever. There was a battery compartment. Yeah, they got it in the back here, which you can put batteries in. And there were lights in the cockpit that lit up, but it didn't come with batteries. Uh, so that's not new, but it looks great. Underneath that, we have our box. And we have the go feel it part. What is the go feel it part? There is a hole in the back where you can feel the textured weathering. And it feels quite cool. Uh, so this is the third thing, if I remember rightly, in the Rusted series. First is the most rare of the ex released exclusives. And by that, I don't mean the one-off sort of competition things, and that is the Rust Jeep. There are only, I think, 24 or 26 in the world. I have got one as well. And I'll put that into just the videos for you up there. You can have a look at that. And basically, it's the same as the Green Jeep, but it's in Rust, but it looks really cool. There is the Corpse Laurel, it's just the videos, which is really nice, I love that a lot. And now we have this Rust Jeep, uh, Rust Jeep? This uh, Rust Stronghold, which I'm struggling to get out. Okay, coming slow. looks the part now this set doesn't come with a figure didn't come with a figure in the original and it doesn't appear to come with a figure here too and it's got a bit of weight to it so this is a stronghold uh i love this mech it's a transforming mech it comes in like this almost cube tank shape looks very very nice there is here the engine block and you can see that there is a screw here under that batteries go inside and you have a switch here, which will turn on lights inside the cockpit. So the guns do move, the head does rotate, but it's a bit stiff because of the weathering. And that little plastic window here, cool. it does open, but it's very stiff. And the cockpit opens too from here. And there are handles inside. Now from here, maybe I can get to the To the window there we go so that opens as well very very nice uh they've got the replacement treads these do go around but you may have to loosen up oh, the wheels it's not very free rolling so it's very stiff and these plastic ones will unclip if you force it too much also on the sides we can pull these parts here down and you have Foot plates with pegs for the figures to ride on the side, which is a nice feature again. Quite stiff, painted shut. Very, very nice rust looking. Got the brown, you got the orange coming through, you got some oxide day oxidation, oxidization, blue there as well. Transforming to mech mode. I've now got to remember this, I've done this in a fair few years. Um 
So, if I remember rightly, we come here first or here? Okay, that comes up. I remember that. Take these up. Try not to refer to instructions. Okay. Then the arms come off the legs. There's little clips in here. There we go. Woo. And then the legs have to come off the bottom. Oh, that is stiff. And then the feet will come around. Oh, that is really quite stiff. Arms can come out. I can close this up here and I can close this one. I hope here. There we go. This should come this way and be secure. That is really stiff. Ooh. Now there's two holes, can you see? Yeah, just about here and here, which these two notches are supposed to lock into, and that is I'm scared it's gonna break. I'm gonna force that. <laughs> okay. So I won't lock that in just yet. So this is our Stronghold mech. It is a mean looking mech and it's got awesome articulation. So the legs can... Go forwards, they can turn around as well. Um, the feet, it's so stiff, can adjust their position likewise like this. arms all the way around they straighten as well they come out as well i might have to lock that in i don't want to lock it in but because it's so stiff i'm scared of that snapping the little plastic parts there all right let's try that again But I'm giving it a lot of pressure, it's not going in. That's because of the weathering, unfortunately. It's a uh, great looking, but it's made that slightly unmanageable. Also, what's a really nice feature on this is if you open up the little ports, which are painted shut again, but I will use a thin metal tool for this. If you open up the ports, I can open up the ports. Oh. See which one's looser. Maybe this one. They have the shells inside. Now originally, there we go. Originally, Kit Lau, the creator of Asaren, said he wanted he made metal ones of these. I think he made about five thousand of them. But they were not allowed to, and even this has got rust on, they were not allowed to export them because it looks too much like bullets. So the metal ones never got done, unfortunately. Uh, so there'd be four of those, one in each of the uh, of the barrels of the chambers of these uh, cannons here. Great looking mech. I just wish this would click in a bit easier. And I don't want to stick that in hot water being so damn big. Um, there are a couple of other features which I haven't mentioned just yet. Okay, so one is at the back when it's in tank mode. Oh, there's a hook here. This comes out, it's out already, but it also goes in, but it's been painted, stuck outwards. It goes in and out. And on the front in tank mode, this part comes up. So you can make a convoy of strongholds uh, dragging each other or training to, or going in a train. Very, very stable. Mech, very, very nice. I recall that the legs can go outwards a little bit, but this I can't see 
see it happening on this, how the legs went out before, or maybe I just imagine that. But having the feet that can do things like this, meaning even a decent walking pose with your mech. That is a really imposing looking thing. Okay, let's have some comparisons. So, uh, just not long ago, just not long ago, it's great English, right? uh, I reviewed the other exclusive, and that was the, was it the Eclipse? Um, from the Omanga, you can see how big it is in comparison to him. It's at least twice his size and a touch more. So it looks fantastic. Figures fit in here actually quite easily. There are a couple of handles in there which the figures can hold, and again, they've been painted shut, unfortunately. And the screens inside have a bit of paint on, but I don't know if they work, so I don't have any batteries with me at the moment. Okay, so let's compare this also with some more stuff. Okay, so let's compare with a JSI 118 scale Panther tank. The tank is massive. If this was in its tank mode, it would be maybe uh, under half, half the half the length of the tank. But it does scale well because it's so tall and broad when it's in this mech mode. It scales really well with the tank. And that will be just the videos if I have space. Let's look at the uh, Joy Toy Crazy Reload SUV. Uh oh, scales really well with the SUV. In fact, I think it scales better than the tank because this is slightly smaller. You can imagine those sort of working together. Boom, 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 boom. Very, very nice. And then let's uh, scale it, compare it, compare it, can do a comparison with the Joy Toy Freeman 118 scale mech. Now, obviously, the aesthetic is very different. One is more sci fi, one is a bit, bit more. I don't want to say steampunk, but more um, down to earth sci fi, perhaps, perhaps less sci fi. Um, both are quite substantial, and it depends on what you prefer in your aesthetic whether you want something that's a bit more uh, science fiction or a bit more closer to contemporary, perhaps. Both are very good. You can imagine these two having sort of a fight. <laughs> Very nice to have these two bad boys together at the same time. Fantastic looking mech. I love the rust look. Great for diodes and the oxidize oxidization. <laughs> Got the word out in the end. You can see the blue on the guns. Can you see in the groove just here? There's some blue just to make just to come out and make that on camera. Very very nice. But the only disappointment for me is the fact that I can't click that into place. It really feels like it's going to break, and I don't want to sand anything or anything like that. Let me try that one more time. Of course, if I click it into place, I've got to get it out again when I transform it back. Now that does not want to go, um, but other than that, it looks fantastic. <laughs> okay, so one more thing quickly to do, and that's to put it back into tank mode, which in itself is not as easy as you perhaps would like it to be for a number of reasons. But I'll take the guns off for this, it's actually easier to take the guns off because you can then change this clip here without having the guns being in the way. Right, this is not as easy as it could be purely because there's so many things that have to fit exactly. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means when it's in tank mode and it's all fitted, it's a lot better. But fitting it is actually the hard part. Uh, 
Okay, let's get this. Done. So the arms need to go in on the front and back. They got a clip into the bottom there. Okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. And I can put the bar down. Is that in on this one? Looks like it is. And this, like I said, slid in and out, but it's painted open at the moment. Put my guns back on. Let's go around here. that way no, other way sorry my mistake big gun on the bottom no I was right the first time okay so now if I compare it with the uh, joy to it again you see that it's very short in comparison if I compare it to the tank, you now see there's a huge difference to the tank and the joy toy. Maybe if I were to do it this way, you get an idea of how different they are in terms of size. A great mech. I really like the mech mode in this. Uh, I will do something to work it out so I can click it back into place so it locks in mech mode. Fantastic toy. And it's got, again, the acid thing on the front, the uh, rust thing on the front saying, uh, wake me up, friend. And that's what we've seen before on the other rust things. Great exclusive. Really expensive, I have to say. But... If you're a completist, obviously it's worth it for your collection. If you haven't got a stronghold, I think it's a touch on the expense side. Especially for one that's not going to match your other stuff because it's all rustless. You want to use it like a an old but still working, you know, war machine. But it does look the part. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to more awesome action videos for you guys. Check out my other videos. There's loads of acid rain, there's loads of joy toy, and loads of Fortnite and other scales besides 118. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.